Thank you very much for tuning in to another live stream tonight. Keeping it real. Keeping it for reals. As you guys know, live streaming every single day of 2018. Well, every single night. And based off of my terms. And uploading every single day based off of 2018 on my terms. And it has been going pretty good so far. I figured out a way to live stream on my cell phone, which started the past... About a week ago, about a week ago, a week ago, and uh, pretty much ever since then, um, we've been live streaming Pokemon Quest. Might start doing some other games soon, and also great news: my PC has officially arrived in Florida. Ooh, female Nidoran. What level? Ooh. Okay. Focus energy and growl. Focus energy is actually really good. And then growl. Growl isn't, but I mean, that's a level 28 Pokemon right there, fam. That's a level 28 Pokemon. Alright, let's continue on with the episode. Let's go ahead and see what we can do today. We got some adventures to go ahead and get into. We got our daily PM tickets to go ahead and retrieve. And I'm going to quickly just go ahead and get straight into the content tonight. And the main reason being is pretty much not too much going on today. We do get a quest completed. I don't know what this is all about. What's up, Sylveon? How's it going? Um, member bonus. Ooh. Okay, so I've played this game for exactly a week now. Perfect. That exactly explains how long I've played this game for. So we're going to get straight into the content today. Uh, not going to do too much. Uh, the team's pretty much set and good to go. I do got a level 28 Nidoran now, so that's actually pretty lit. Um, what are we going to do with it? I don't know. I mean, it'd be nice to evolve it. But, sadly, that's just not going to happen at the moment. Um, I want to try something out, then, if we're going to do this. Uh, see, we ended up last night ending it off on a... Oh, hell no. I, I, I tried. I, I tried to see what would be cooking over there. Uh, what if I do this, though? I had some technical difficulties, so Glaceon video will be delayed a bit. It's all good. Ooh, 9 to 11 off of a... No, never. It's all good. I've been watching all your other content, so it's it's been Gucci. I've been I even been throwing out likes on the uh, your update videos, even though they're no longer update videos. But uh, yeah, I've been checking out all your content. Your your latest one is still my favorite though right now. Let's see expeditions. Let's go ahead and see what we got. I mean, it was it was kind of rough last time. So we got a thirty nine hundred, a thirty three hundred, and a thirty four. So the thirty three is the one that we were on. Um, we were close, but not close enough. So what we're going to do is... So we've recapped all of Gloomy twice. We've recapped all of Backforth twice. And we've recapped all of First Step twice. You don't have idea how hard it is to do a video for Glaceon. She doesn't appear much in the anime. I, to be honest, you've pulled up a lot of clips. Even on Sylveon, that I'm like... Well, a Sylveon did appear a lot in the anime, mainly because of X and Y. But, like, Leafeon, Glaceon, Jolteon, you've pulled out so many clips. I'm, like, I'm shocked at how you find so many different clips. It's unreal. But, yeah, Glaceon, that one, you have, you, it's really hard to find that one. So, whatever you can pull off with that, it's going to be something special. I think we're gonna have to do the three by three. Uh, let's go ahead and see this. So we got the five one, five one five two. So that's two expeditions I can do, and then that's five. So we're gonna go ahead and just recap what we did yesterday. And the main reason for that is we need to go ahead and level up the squad, and we need to go ahead and evolve some Pokemon. Sadly, Eevee doesn't evolve until a really long time. Abra could evolve anytime because um, it does evolve into Kadabra at level sixteen. But I got this Abra after that, and then I also read that there's a glitch in the game where Abra does sometimes doesn't want to evolve until level 30. So yeah, the video won't be like the last one, but still be nice, hopefully. Well, whatever you do, based off of the work I've been watching, should be Gucci. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and recap the first, or the, the five new ones that we've recently done in uh, Expedition 4 and 5. Go ahead and put this on auto. My team should be able to take care of this. And the main reason, again, for doing this is we need to go ahead and get some experience for the team. As well as, uh, hopefully, some better 
gemstones or yeah I mean the gemstones <laughs> but yeah what I was thinking was any news for WoW um, today the patch came out and I was watching some videos I didn't really want to be spoiled too much on it because um, I mean I sadly I can't play it at the moment because of my PC problems but um like I just don't I, I watched some of the cinematics and stuff like that but questing and all that stuff I've tried to stay away from it so I don't get spoiled too much uh, hopefully I can get my PC before BFA even launches because that's when I have my 24 hour live stream scheduled uh, they just received the PC today so hopefully that all goes well to plan so too much, uh, not too much going on with World of Warcraft at the moment, but they did launch a quest line for the pre-patch that just went finally live today. But as always, World of Warcraft bugs, glitches, and issues with the servers. Yeah, my team's actually going to get through this pretty easily. This is going good. But yeah, World of Warcraft, hopefully we got, I mean, I'm, I'm dying to get back into it, but at the moment, kind of all mobile gaming until then so yeah we got through that level very easily so that's good we got two stones from this one so we, and 14 okay that is nice i've also noticed um i read up online how training works i've been kind of doing it wrong one fort not too good at all with those stones actually i've been doing it wrong so when you do training you kind of want to use the same type pokemon and then you get a, a large bonus benefit from that uh, you have too many power stones okay um, can I just nope okay recycle it is let's see here what can I get rid of well we gotta recycle the, the trash that we're not using how is this gonna pan out um Nothing really different there, so let's just go ahead and recycle that. And then we've got a 135 and a 148. The 135 would, I, uh, the 148 I can use on Licky Tongue. The one, let's see here. Uh, can I switch my Pokemon out, please? I want to switch my Poke Pokemans. No, let me switch to Pokies. Alright, fine, I see how it is. Okay. Alright, everybody, back at it. I do apologize for that. Um, we're continuing. I was able to pause the expedition so you guys don't miss anything. Um, but this will probably be a separate stream. Basically, what happened was the internet got disconnected. We did have a power outage earlier, but it wasn't my house, it was basically the whole city. Actually, it was a big powder outage. It was just more than the city. And now, the internet went out. But, the internet came back pretty quickly. So, good to know. And, what's good to know that it's not just my house. You can actually peek outside with people that actually have the exact same services. And see that their TVs went out as well. So, it's good to know it wasn't mine. But anyways, let's get back into the swing of things. Peace. Back into the expeditions, fam. I was like, oh no, please don't tell me I can't stream tonight. I mean, we did stream for a good, like, 20-ish minutes, but that's not enough. Continue the Pokemon Quest grind. So, yeah, for those of you tuning in, I do apologize. Um, hopefully you guys have made your way back to the channel, or if you are new around here, thank you very much for tuning in. You don't know you, whatever you just heard. Pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, well, yeah, we're in Expedition, I believe, 4-3. Um, again, recapping, if you didn't, if you're just tuning into this video right now, basically, uh, this is a continuation live stream. What's up, Zen Online? How's it going? This is a continuation live stream, so we're just getting straight into this. Uh, sadly, we just had a power outage earlier in the day, and now we just had an internet outage, so now we're back at it again. But, uh, yeah, this is a continuation stream from the one that was just going on, for those of you tuning in, two minutes ago. So we're getting through this level pretty quickly. It's always a good thing when you have it on auto and you're able to quickly get through a level. That's always the best thing. Yeah, I saw all the videos. Follow me on social media. You would have seen all the spam of today from me. 
I actually disliked the Jaina video. I didn't dislike it. I liked it on YouTube, but I didn't really like the video itself. It made Jaina, I mean, I know Jaina's older, but it made her look really old. I wasn't a fan of the pirate theme music. I mean, it's cool and all, but it just it was a little bit weird. I wasn't a huge fan of that video at all. But it's always nice to I mean, they do great. The, the artwork's amazing, first of all. But I'm just not a huge fan of that type of video. <clears throat> Man, dude. Th everybody that goes in Licky Tongue's path is just taking huge L's, fam. It's, look at this. This guy knocks people back. He does bits. Okay, you just got knocked back, bro. What are we gonna do? Ooh, we got the burn effect from Rapidash. Oh, no. You can't 1v1 this, my G. I, I for some reason, don't think we're gonna be able to do this. Eevee, please come back to me. Uh, you need the abbers back too. Oh, yes, thank you, light screen, my G. You guys got some work. We did it. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm super stoked about that one. Alright, sweet. That was like the most difficult level we've done so far, and we were able to just easily, quickly clear it. Abra has leveled up, Licky Tongue has leveled up, Eevee is very close. Abra now also has an extra gem slot. Here we go. I think it's evolving. Please? Yes. We've got Kadabra. UG. Oh, we finally got our first evolution of the game. Look at the, oh my gosh, the attack and HP boost he just got. Oh, this is it. This is it, boys. Look at the team total. Oh, we're about to do some bits. Does he still know the same moves? I believe so. Oh, this is nice. For those of you tuning in, thank you very much for tuning in. You just witnessed Abra turn into a Kadabra fan. Alright, so. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we got a Kadabra. I'm looking forward to this. Now, I wonder how you get Alakazam in this game. Is it just by leveling up? We'll figure that out. Go ahead and check out Power Charms, because we got an extra slot on Kadabra. Check out the move. Still Light Screen and still Side Beam, but the amount of attack that he has now is next level perfect the uh, the stone that we just picked up was the one that we need um, I'm actually gonna drag that off really quick uh, nope that's the highest one perfect uh, that's all the gem slots nice all right so perfect uh, good to go team total let's see what we got super stoked glass cannon why is that oh 3774 the team is definitely getting much higher right now this is great Alright, quest. Pick this up. I believe it's, uh, I evolved a Pokemon. So, hip hip hooray for me. Evolution Master. There we go. PM tickets in the game. Power Stone Collector. More PM tickets. 10 of attack, but little help. Yeah, that's, it, I mean, that's just how Abra and Kadabra are in the regular game, too. Register 20 species. Perfect. But Alakazam is where it will, his attack will greatly rise. Alakazam is one of the best Pokemon in the game. Um... His attack will greatly rise, and then its uh, defense mechanics, or its HP, will start to kick in as well. Um, so I do need to level him up again. But let's go to base camp over here. We've recapped all of Expedition 4. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing with 5. we got a new Pokemon, and I'm also going to go ahead and do some training as well. I did figure out a little secret in regards to training. For those of you that are wondering, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys into what that's all about. We just got a shelter. Let's see what level this is going to be. What's great is that, that when they... Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, my gosh, dude. All right, what does he know? Withdraw, of course, and bubble. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, I am just loving life today. All right, so let's go ahead and show you guys something here really quick. It's, it's kind of like a cheat, but it's not. It's just how training works. Um, so training is actually beneficial... If you have a lot of Pokemon and you're using the exact same type to level up that Pokemon. So for example, Pikachu over here. Magnemite has the same um, type as Pikachu. So it is electric to electric. As you guys can see, I will get that three level bonus from that. Um, let's see what else I can go ahead and show you guys an advantage of. Let's see. Uh, grass to grass. So I mean, if I was to use Paris with Nidoran... Paris will level up by one. Let's see. Oh, okay. Here's a de here's a definite um, here's a definite right here. So, 
I use star you put on shelter that's two levels there and even put on seal that's even a that's a definite boost from a level one seal as you guys just saw that XP grind so when you're doing level ups or move learning you want to use the same type of the uh, Pokemon that you're gonna go ahead and utilize um, I got a lot of Pokemon that I need to go ahead and get rid of main reason is their moves are just their move set is just really bad so with that being said Eevee I need to level you up Nidoran peace Q no where are you at Magnemite, you are actually lit. Uh, Cubone piece. I really don't want to get rid of you, but might as well for now. Uh, Seal, will you fit? Will you finish it off? No, you won't. Um, hmm. Questionable. Oh my gosh, that level boost right there. Okay, this might be. Yeah, this is worth it. All right, so I do apologize for those of you that tune in and you love the Pokemon that I have. Just stay tuned until we've completed this game. I will be going for the uh, the level uh, the capture Pokemon grind, filling up the Pokédex. Um, but for now, I need to go ahead and level up specific Pokemon. As you guys know, Eevee is starting to fall away level-wise, so I need to go ahead and bring Eevee back up to par. Uh, Cubone and Nidoran have terrible move sets, and I'm going to use their levels to go ahead and just boost up Eevee's experience. Paris is great. But it's starting to fade away. So hopefully I get another one with the same moveset that's a higher level. And then Seal. I'm just... I have no intentions of wanting to level that up right now. So... And I know they're not that rare to find. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of it for now. And then when it comes to Charmander and Pikachu, I'm keeping them because of their rarity. Well, Pikachu is a rare Pikachu. And Charmander is just because of the rarity. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get some XP from this. Welcome to the level 20 plus club. Uh, do I got a new gem slot? Nope, I do not, but that is okay. That is now a decent team. Go ahead and level up Pikachu from Magnemite. Uh, the Magnemite I would love to keep, but right now I have no intentions of using Magnemite anytime soon, and I need to get this Pikachu up. So any electric type Pokemon that I get, I'm going to just go ahead and run into Pikachu. And that's good. Uh, Licky Tongue, Kadabra, Staryu's looking pretty juicy to get rid of soon, but at the moment, no, because Staryu knows an ice type move, which none of my other Pokemon do. So, with that being said, we're gonna have to do some team switching because this shelter is really pretty good. Let's check out the quests really quick. I believe that they're gonna be some training quests because that's all I've pretty much done. Training Master, there we go. More PM tickets. Get some nice cooking in. Uh, yep. And randomize the cooking. What's up, Sylveon? How's it going? What do you mean, not yet? What you talking about? And let's go ahead and pick up the expedition. Completed uh, four, so let's go ahead and hit up with the fives. Recompleted four, sorry. Um, with this being said, I gotta go ahead and add shelter to the team really quick. Actually, I can't. Licky tongues. The only reason, the only way I can get rid of sh uh, add shelter is if I get rid of Eevee, and I'm not gonna do that yet. So we're gonna go ahead and bear with the current team that we have, because this Kadabra, I want to see how it works. This Kadabra is lit. Alright, so 5-1 and 5-2 we need to do. Should be able to complete these pretty quickly. Especially with all of the new benefits that we have just picked up. Go ahead and put this one on auto as well. I can't believe we got a Kadabra on the team now. Look at that. <laughs> Let's Helikinesis Powers activate. I want to see Kadabra. Ooh, ooh. Kadabra's just regular attack does a lot of damage. So this is this is pretty nice. Oh, this is who this is really good. Facing off against Ghastlies right now, which isn't great for Kadabra. Ghost types against Psychic types. Iron Man challenge is impossible now because some zones that give you five levels give you two levels now. Not impossible, just a huge grind. 
It was terrible when they changed it, but now it's even worse. Yeah, I, I definitely see what you're talking about, though. I've been keeping up to date with everything World of Warcraft while I can't play. Got all the fan sites favorited, checking them out on a daily, making sure I don't miss anything. And then when I get... I don't spoil myself, though, so I haven't really looked too much into the quests and to the pre-patch. But information, all that type of stuff, I'm pretty much on the go with that. Hopefully I get my PC back soon, but sadly... I mean, it's good news, but it's not the best news. Um, my PC just arrived today, or earlier today, in uh, Florida. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, the one thing the Jaina video made me think about was the possibility of neck transmogs. Why is that? Oh, Blizzard always nerfs the fun. Why, why, why neck transmogs? Dude, this team is lit. This Kadabra has does so much damage. The evolution that I just gained from that was just next level. I need an Alakazam ASAP. Yeah, but how do you transmog a neck piece? You don't see the neck pieces. Unless you, they start adding some glowy neck pieces into the game. Oh my gosh, we don't even take... This, this Kadabra is not even taking that much damage too, which is really nice. It doesn't have a lot of health, but... Him not taking all this damage. Oh my gosh. And he does so much damage. This cadaver is on par with Licky Tongue, which is great. Alright, let's see what we got here. Picked up a Mighty Stone and a Sturdy Stone. Not the best of stones right now, but... Yeah, Zen, you can piss off with that comment. Uh, let's see... Check out the stones real quick. See if there are any any use from them. Ooh, a 161. So I can go ahead and switch out Kadabras. And a 138. So I can switch out Kadabras. Gonna hopefully boost them over. So, the 158 is the lowest he's got. And then he also, a uh, 138 and a 138. Yeah, stream is back. We, uh... It was offline. We are back. It's an internet issue from my end, so it's kind of bugged right now. Let's go ahead and hit up Licky Tongue really quick. Switch out the 150. And then also switch off the, the 135. Recycle the two lowest. And that's it. Expedition Random We Coming. 37.92. Almost at 4K. Finally getting there. Alright, so 5 2. Last recap of the day. Yeah, thanks, Sylveon. It was a two minute hiccup. I was gone for two minutes. Not even that. But sadly, the streams aren't going to be together. So these streams are going to get split up into two separate videos. This usually never happens, by the way. My stream, this never happens. Internet problems for me. I'm just saying that. I'm throwing it out there right now. Oof. Someone hitting us up with a nice crit here. What sucks is Eevee doesn't level or evolve into such a long time. It's gonna, it's so annoying. I'm st I still don't know what what I'm going to do with uh, Eevee's evolution yet. Should I just let it go random? 
or should I actually force it to evolve into something? I kind of like the I kind of like the random feel because it's not like I need a specific one at the moment. Yeah, where have you been, Sylveon? You've been missing out. I got a cadaver like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> no, I'm I'm exaggerating on that. Probably like 10 minutes ago. Right after the live stream returned. I feel like I'm just going to go ahead and let Eevee evolve and let Eevee be what it wants to be. Let Eevee choose. But if I was to say which one's my favorite out of the three originals, it'd probably be Flareon. Flareon and then Jolteon and then Vaporeon. Vaporeon was my least favorite. But I don't dislike Vaporeon. Vaporeon is just great in its general. Is there a type that you're missing from fire? Use that to fill a spot. Um, it really doesn't matter type wise right now. Um, I have a Charmander that's a fire type but it's not useful. I have a water type. I have two water types actually so I mean I don't need that. But I also have a really good electric type out of Pikachu but the level doesn't help so. I'm leveling up Eevee at the moment, so whatever it wants to evolve to, it'll be better than anything that I have. I, w I was thinking of that as well, Zen. I was when I said it. That's why I kind of paused in between. <laughs> What's your favorite, Sylveon, out of the three? Mine, definitely. Mine was always Flareon. Sadly, Flareon's just the worst out of the three, though, if you were going to play competitive. Jolteon's massively the one of the best electric types in the game. And then Vaporeon was just an all-around decent Pokemon. But Jolteon's actually a, one of the best electric types in the game. By far. Oh my gosh, Lickitung actually died in this one. <laughs> Interesting. But sadly, yeah, Flareon's a really bad Pokemon if you're going to play this game competitively. However, in Pokemon Quest, I don't know how that is. We shall find out. 146 Mighty Stone. Let's see. Had a decent secondary. Vaporeon's okay. Vaporeon's, uh, Flareon, Flareon does need a lot of buffs. Flareon is really bad in the game. Uh, Vaporeon's all around decent. Jolteon's really good. Aw, oh, man. Like, you can't say Vaporeon's OP. Because it's not. At all. Jolteon, you can say, is OP. Because it's one of the best. It is definitely one of the best. Depending on what type of mo uh, team you have. But Jolteon is the best uh, electric type in the game. Based off of speed alone. Alright, so the cooking's done. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. That was quick cooking for the day. Give me something Gucci. That level 30 shelter, and I'm not even using it, man. Who's that Pokemon? It's Growlithe. Level 80. Please. I know it's Growlithe. Level 26, and it knows... Oh my gosh. Oh, we are lit today. We just got the best Growlithe in the game. So, stat-wise, level-wise isn't too bad. Oh, we are cooking. Oh, we are good. This is, oh, this is next level. Uh, go ahead and cook. Cook my G. I can't believe we just pulled that off. We just got a Growlithe at level 26. Hip, hip, hooray. Um, I can't get rid of anything yet. So you're 927, 415. You're 957. Oh, the Lucky Tongue is just too good. Eevee's all around decent. The, the team comp that I got right now, I have a tank. 
Oh, if I can evolve this Growlithe, oof, it'll be a mess. I will get through this game so quick. Arcanine and Alakazam are top three Pokemon in this game. I need to get Alakazam though. That it's a broken Pokemon in this game. But look how even this this team is that I got right now. A Licky Tongue with tanky stats. A Kadabra with attacking range stats. And an all out even Eevee. It's it's pretty damn lit. 180, 198, 249, 202. I'm going to try something here. Let me hit up training real quick. What's great is I don't need to train the Growlithe. Growlithe is perfect. Uh, Alakazam. Kadabra, what would it learn? It needs to learn Psychic, but right now it's actually pretty decent. Move set. Uh, but uh, Alakazam will need to learn Psychic, so I'll definitely have to change one of its moves. Lecky Tongue has a great move set, the best move set that it can get. Eevee, not too bad, but I don't really want to go for the Growl again. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this again. Perfect. Alright. Sorry, sorry you, but you're gone. I'm never going to use you again because Shoulder has taken your place. Please? Stones? Yes. Level 13. We're getting you. We're getting you there, Pikachu. I'm grinding you up. Alright, so, back at it again. We got Growlithe and Shelter that are up there. So if I ever need to swap out some teams to go ahead and start kicking some butt in these expeditions, I got them for backup. But I'm staying with the current team because the current team, I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and see if we can clear up a new expedition. What's up, James? How's it going? Uh, let's go ahead and do 5-3. See if we can continue and clear this one. And now we get to turn this back off on non-auto mode. Because this is one that I have yet to do or accomplish. My phone's on fire right now, by the way. Alright, so here we go. Start off with an early light screen. Power up punch into a flail, into a side beam. Run away, guys. Uh, AoE, massive. Side beam, should finish this off. Yeah, we're good. Ooh, another horde of Magnemite. How far did you end up getting? Which expedition did you get to? Flail should finish this off. Yeah, we're good. And a lonely Voltorb. Sorry, Voltorb, but you about to take some L's. Alright, so step one of three cleared. Uh, let's go ahead and er early apply light screen so everything gets off of cooldown. In three, two, one. So now we have light screen for this fight. Power up punch into a flail. Into side beam, of course. So happy to... Did, did, did my cadaver just poop out a side beam? Alright, what's going on with my team? Uh, Licky Tongue, are you really over there? Oh, you are over there. Okay, go ahead and slam then. Kill that thing. <laughs> That's weird. Licky Tongue had to go all the way over there to go ahead and fight. Oh no, facing off against... Oh yeah, it's Onyx. The OP Onyx. No, there isn't, because some of them have uh, specific abilities. If it knows a ranged, uh, if it if it knows range type attacks, it's going to be a range type Pokemon. You can't change it in this game. I've tried that, and I also looked it up, so it's not possible. I actually went away, guys, real quick. Yeah, that's what I thought, Onyx. I saw your attack coming, my G. I remember this fight. Uh, run away again. Haha. <laughs> well, do you have three melee types in your team? What are your what is your current team? Run away. I'll be able to tell you what your issue is when you tell me your team. I'm pretty sure I know what your problem is because I had the same problem with one of my comps from before, which is why Eevee was always dying. But now I got Licky Tongue taking all the damage. But I mean, I know Eevee died before Licky Tongue in this one, but 
That's because Eevee just really has no health, but still. And I'm carrying it along. But I love Eevee a lot, so I'm gonna keep it on the squad. It's actually not that far level-wise anymore. I've been grinding it up behind the scenes. 168. Sweet. Via training, that is. Oh, that's a huge jump. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, quest. That is a huge jump. Did you guys just see the level requirement for that? 4,500? Really? Oh, man. And this one's 3,400. Alright, so we might have to do some level 6 soon. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and attempt 4-4. Actually, let's go do 6-1 because it's the easiest one. <laughs> Um, let's see that gem really quick. Oh, definitely. Uh, what's cooking? Eevee, you're first. Eevee, welcome to the HP club. And we're gonna drop that onto... Kadabra. And then we'll drop the 138 onto Licky Town and get rid of his 137. So the team should go up just a little bit. But it's always a plus. Alright, so we got one more expedition today and I want to be able to complete a level. So I'm going to go ahead and start for my first time ever. Pin Cushion Plane 6-1. We do have the level requirements completed, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here, everybody. But for those of you tuning in, thank you very much for tuning in. Got questions, post in the comment section down below or live stream chat. I'll be sure to answer as soon as possible. 1500 is where I am in the expedition. 5700. Right now, it's Ponyta, Tentacle, and Porygon. Let me read that. Ponyta, Tentacle, Oh, yeah. So Tentacle is your water type ranged. Porygon's probably melee with uh, Ponyta. I'm assuming that's what it's looking like right now for you. If you swapped out Tentacle for Onyx, that's probably why you're getting a ranged Onyx. Because the other two, even though Ponyta knows... Um, ranged attacks. It depends on which attack it exactly knows, and even if it does, its ponytail usually tends to go melee range. Ponytail is melee and the other two are ranged, yeah. For some reason, don't ask why, but pony ponytail should be ranged. But I can understand why they make it a melee type, but or a melee Pokemon in this game, but it should be arranged. Depending, of course, depending on what moves it knows. Your Porygon should be melee. Because it really doesn't matter. And Porygon's actually pretty defensively decent. Oh my gosh. This level is so nasty. Alright, this slam's gonna do some beef damage. Boom! Oh no, Persian right away. Here we go. Alright, start off with a light screen. Putting Onyx in place of Ponyta makes a three range team. That shouldn't happen. I'm pretty sure someone else goes into to melee before Onyx. That's why. What moves does Onyx know? That's the confusing part. Iron... It knows two... Why does it know headbutt? It knows two melee type moves. So it should definitely be... Dude, this freaking Kadabra is tanky as hell. Even though it doesn't got a lot of, uh... Hell. Well. New level completed. Hell yeah. That wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, it, that makes no sense. At all. 
Your Onyx is just dumb. Ooh, Eevee leveling up. Y'all know what's up.